In this short video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the search facility within Outlook on the web to search for emails or keywords and files. So obviously you can do this all manually, so you could browse through all of your emails and folders to find content, but using the search option at the top can save you a huge amount of time and effort. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head up to the search box here. Now when you want to run a search, you can run a search for a keyword for an attachment type, you can run a search for any emails from specific senders. So let's start off by just putting in an email address. So you'll see here this one is listed as Instagram no reply at mail.instagram.com. So if I put in no dash reply, you'll see as I start to search for that, it looks for any email addresses or emails with that content. So it could be an email address which has no reply in the email address itself. It could be an email address which is called no reply, which is very unlikely, or it could be emails that have that particular um, text within them. So you'll see if I click on this first one at the top, Instagram, then what it's going to do is it's going to basically run a search for me across all folders in my account from emails from Instagram. Now, if I want to change that, I can simply click on the cross and what this will do is it will remove that search term. So we can then just click on the back button and we'll go back to our main inbox. Alternatively, if we can here, instead of running a search in all folders, you can specify the folder you want to search. So if I only want to search my inbox, then I can choose inbox from here and then I can run a search, I'll just do the same one again, Instagram, and this is only going to show emails that reside in my inbox and not in any other folders. Again, if I want to clear that search, it's just a case of going with the back arrow there and we're back to where we were. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this little option here, and this allows you to filter your search so you can be a lot more specific. So we're going to open up the filter here, and the first thing is to choose where we're wanting to search. So I'm going to search my sent items, and I can't remember the person that I sent this to, but I'm looking for a specific email on the subject of London. So in the subject line, I'm going to type in the word London, and I could use the from and to dates here if I remembered the date range, or if I had lots and lots of emails and maybe a lot of them did have London in the subject, but I only want to see between a certain date range. All you do for that is just choose the date range within your calendar. So let's just go for the last few days. Now keywords varies or differ slightly from subject because the subject is going to search the subject line. Keywords will search everywhere within the email for those keywords. So in this part here, let's go down where it says read status. Don't need to worry about that because we're searching our sent items, so it's not going to be marked as read or unread. And I'm not too fussed about it having an attachment. Let's just run a search just now. So a sent email with the term London sent in the last few days. And you'll see I actually have one here. So I've got this email that I have prepared, and you'll notice that we have the London part. That's what basically it was found. So this is actually a draft, so it's not necessarily a sent, but it is a draft message. So you'll see it tells me at the top here that nothing was found in sent items, but they did find an email with London in the subject in my drafts. Now let's go back up to here and let's expand the filter group and let's change this back to all folders. Let's take out London and let's go down and use attachments. So I want to see if I've received any emails with an attachment. So let's just go to search and then you'll see we have actually received quite a lot of emails here with attachments. So these could either be emails that I've sent or received. Now we can see here quite clearly, sent, sent, inbox, sent. So if I come back up to this filter and if we change that to inbox instead of all folders, now when we're on the search, I'm only going to see the email in my inbox that has an attachment. And then I can click on it to open it up. And there is the attachment there. So this search box at the top can save you a huge amount of time and effort when searching for your emails. Now, of course, you need to know exactly what you're searching for. So it helps to have any keywords or have any attachments or that sort of thing already in your mind when you're running your search. But if you need to, you can just change this to all folders and then even start by just putting the keywords into the search box at the top and then click on the search icon. But you can further filter down if you really need to. And at any point, if you have added lots and lots of filters, so let's put in a couple of dates here. Let's put in an address in here. So we'll just go for one of these. We'll put one of these in and I'll just say from this account 
and then the red status is uh, red, you'll see we can go to clear filters, which will just put us back to how it was at the beginning. So that's how you can search your email account for specific emails by keyword, subjects, who they're from or going to, and things like attachments or red status.